For the first major exhibition in the United States of the Art of the Quran, has just opened here in Washington. The exhibition features some of uh, some more than 60 of the most important manuscripts of and about the Quran, created over more than a thousand years across the Islamic world. That is from North Africa to Turkey, Iran, and Afghanistan. Viewers Jun Son has more on the art of the Quran. This large manuscript, created in ink, color, and gold on paper, greets visitors at the entrance to the exhibition. It certainly is one of the biggest, it's certainly the heaviest. It weighs some 60 kilos and it is um, quite remarkable. Uh, many of these manuscripts were created uh, primarily for um, display. They were given as gifts to mosques and, and mausolea. The majority of the 66 manuscripts on view are from Istanbul's Museum of Turkish and Islamic Arts. Some are from the Freer and Sackler Gallery's permanent collections. The work's origin ranges from 7th century Damascus, Syria, to 17th century Istanbul. Some were transferred to the museum from the tombs of Ottoman sultans. They were created for some of the most powerful sultans, rulers in these um, regions. And um, eventually, after many years, um, they were acquired by the Ottoman royal family. Masuma Farhad, the Freer and Sackler's chief curator and curator of Islamic art, says although each manuscript contains an identical text, they are in different formats and styles. The mastery and skill of the artists have transformed each manuscript into a unique work of art. For instance, there is a uh, manuscript by the calligrapher Yakut, who is probably one of the greatest calligraphers to have ever worked in the Islamic world from the late 12th, early 13th century. The exhibition showcases the beauty of the calligraphy and the intricacy of the illuminated decoration by early Quran scribes. It also tells the individual stories of some of the manuscripts, their makers, and original owners. We hope that um, visitors, whatever their interests, will come and take away some of these stories. Some, some may be interested in the calligraphy, some may be interested in particular um, calligraphers or in the art of illumination. And the way that the exhibition is organized, we hope that we have something for all our visitors. The Quran exhibition continues through February 20th, 2017 and also offers additional resources on a website, available both on-site and online. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.